Professor Olof Ramsten, a member of the Chemistry, Chemistry Prize Committee. This Click Prize, what is it about? Can you please explain? Uh, this is a fantastic prize. This is a fantastic prize to a fantastic discovery, I should say, that uh, our three laureates have made. And they have been working on uh, methods to try to connect molecules, connect building blocks, like, and they can be clicked together very simply and straightforwardly. And essentially the same way as you build Lego, right? So you can have the Lego pieces and you can just click them together and you can build very advanced, you know, very advanced, uh, you know, houses or tools or, or vehicles, even spaceships you can build using that. And the same is the same with this chemistry, although at a very, very, you know, molecular level, so to speak, you know, very, every, everything is very small, but you can click them together and you can build very advanced structures in a very simple and straightforward way. And why has this been so difficult before? Well, it's, um, it's, um, it's very difficult to find such, you know, means or such reactions, as we call them, to actually do this. Because if you want to have a reaction that can be really just work every time you use it, just clicking together every time you want to use it, and you get predictable products, you know, you, get, you know what you will get. That is really difficult to do. Right? So there are not many reactions like that, and, and we only have a handful of such reactions today. And, and what do you build with those click things? I mean, what could it be used for? Uh, the, the funny thing, the, the good thing with this, this, uh, these discoveries is that it can be used for almost everything. So it's been spread very widely. And it's been used where you, for example, make new uh, drug compounds, you know, to, to treat uh, illness and so on. It's been used to make all sorts of different materials, like polymers, like gels. Um, it's hard to explain what those means. <laughs> but, yeah, what, what? but, you know, you can make almost everything where you want, just want to click together things, right? You can build very advanced uh, structures that can be used to deliver drugs in the human bodies. You can. You can use them for almost everything you can think of. And, and why did you decide to give the prize right now? Why is this moment? Um, well, that is always a very difficult question to answer. But uh, the way we work, we work normally with many different areas at the same time. And in this particular case, this field has now matured in such a way that we now think it's ready for, for this kind of a war. So now we have all the pieces of the puzzle together, you can say. So now we just know that exactly uh, the last piece of the puzzle came in and now we see that the whole picture is perfectly fine and we have now a very fantastic new award. As well. It's about time, you say? A, you can say it's about time. So tell us a little bit about the laureates. One of them, uh, Barry Sharpless, he got um, the Nobel Prize 2001. How? I yeah. mean, is this common? This is How? not at all common. This is not at all common. It happened a few times before in the past that certain individuals are really, really, really creative. <laughs> and, and Barry Sharpless is one of those. And, uh, and uh, so he uh, got the Nobel Prize in 2001 for a relatively different area. And now, after that, he has continued working on other things, for example, this thing. And uh, he, was, he made such important discoveries in this field. So, uh, you have to say that you know he is a really creative person and he, he deserves now this second award. We just heard uh, another one, uh, Carolyn R. Betrusi on, on, on the phone. She, could you tell me about the reaction when you called her? Uh, well, I cannot say too much, but, uh, but uh, we can say that when we call the laureates, they are always very, very happy. They are always, almost always, very surprised, <laughs> and and it's a very emotional moment when we call them uh, all the time, uh, every time. Are they related? I mean, do they work? To, have they been working together on this? Um, um, do I, they know each other? Could you tell I us? I am something? absolutely convinced that they know each other, <laughs> but I do not think that they have actually been working directly with one another. Uh, might be. I'm not absolutely certain about that but definitely know each other because these this, uh, this, uh, discoveries and, and the concept they have come up with, they are very connected and, and so I'm sure they definitely know each other in that sense. Tell us a little bit about uh, uh, Carolyn Batuzzi. Yeah. Who, who is she? And well, Carolyn is, uh, is a fantastic scientist, a fantastic woman that has been actually revolutionizing the way 
uh, we can analyze or, or visualize and even have an, how to say how to say see certain molecules in the living body right in living systems so in for example the human body we have tons of different carbohydrate sugar structures but they are very difficult to 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 see or to find out what they are doing and that's exactly what Caroline Bertosi have been you know focusing on she has been trying to really figure out exactly what this sugar structures are doing, where they are in the body, in the cells, and uh, she has come, come very far using this chemistry that she has developed, using this type of, you know, very... The click. The click type of chemistry that she The has click. Developed. She also said it was connected to COVID-19 research in some way. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very natural that if you have these kind of tools that she has developed, and then, of course, we had this, uh, this, uh, this uh, pandemic, they were also looking into if they could actually use those tools to make new, um, you know, thera therapeutic agents, drugs against this uh, this uh, uh, terrible, you know, virus. And uh, as we heard her saying, also they, they, they managed to do something. Uh, for example, antibody drug conjugate, I think they mentioned, which may be used as as a drug against this uh, this virus. Click chemistry. It sounds simple, but how many years has it taken to? develop this tool? It's depending on where you <laughs> start the process. So click chemistry is, is uh, the, the concept or this, this field, so to speak, you know, the, the name click chemistry has been around for around two decades. Right? So it's not terribly old, but it's of course resting on other, you know, discoveries that were made earlier. So in that perspective, in that sense, it's a much older chemistry. So it took a very long time to find this fantastic click reaction that really works every time, that really can be used everywhere under all different conditions. So it's a, it's a fantastic, you know, discovery, this, this, uh, this click reaction. What do you think would be the future applications of this? Well, I think we have already seen a lot of applications already. And I think in the future we will see they will become more mature. There will be more products on the market for, the, for our, you know, for our benefit. For example? For example, different materials that we can use, uh, different drugs, as we have mentioned, they can be, uh, we can use them for the curing disease or at least uh, treating disease. And we can have, for example, there is examples where you can make materials where you can grow cells. For example, if you have a damaged ear, you can grow a cell and then you can graft it onto the air, air using this methodology. And then so there are many, many applications. I think in the future we will see so many more, so many more that directly has a benefit to, to, to us humans as humans. So finally, if you would have 30 seconds to say why you are so oh. enthusiastic about this, <laughs> what would that be? Well, I think this is a fantastic award for, for many reasons. And uh, one, of the, one of the reasons I think it's, it's, uh, um, it's, it's such an in interesting combination because it, it's very clearly uh, two, two decades ago when this first reaction was discovered that there was absolutely in the in the scientific world there was an unmet need there was really an unmet absolute huge need and when this this uh, uh, reaction was discovered it was like opening the floodgates so everywhere all the time this reaction was applied you know they were using it everywhere to build everything right so that is definitely Thank you very much, Professor Olof Ramström. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.